In this question, we're given the spectrum of an FM signal, and we're told that the licensing authorities restrict the maximum frequency deviation to 75 kilohertz. And that's true in most countries. So we're given the maximum frequency deviation, and we're asked for the message bandwidth, so FM. So clearly, we, we have wideband FM, and we can start with Carson's rule, which is an estimate for the bandwidth. So that's 2 into 1 plus beta times FM. Now, because we don't know beta, what we can do is rewrite that as 1 plus delta F over FM times FM. And that gives us a really useful expression, 2 into delta F plus FM. So this is a really useful expression. It tells us that the bandwidth can be found by adding the frequency deviation and the message bandwidth, then multiplying by 2. So it's a useful way to look at the FM spectrum. So next time you look at the spectrum, you can think of the carrier component, and then a frequency deviation, and then a small additional deviation caused by FM. So you've got three bits. You've got, or two bits, delta F and FM. And the total bandwidth is all of that. So the bandwidth is twice delta F plus FM. Okay, so in this case, we can find the bandwidth by simply subtracting these two frequencies. So we can say the bandwidth, because it's a band pass signal, is simply the higher of the two frequencies minus the lower of the two frequencies. So that's 0 0.18 megahertz, or 180 kilohertz. So my 180 kilohertz is twice delta F plus FM. And delta F, I'm given in the question, is 75. So I have FM equals 90 minus 75 equals 15 kilohertz. So I've just found the message frequency. So that's about the upper frequency for an audio signal. So this is typical for a... Um, an audio broadcast. So for a music radio station, you would typically have beta equals 5. So beta equals your 75 kilohertz divided by your 15 kilohertz. Beta equals 5. So this is very typical. So 75, that's set by the licensing authorities, and that's uh, very common. Some countries use 50. Most countries use 75. Beta, again, is very common for wideband FM, and 15 kilohertz, it's very common for audio broadcasts. So there you have your final answer.